Hey guys, this is Coyota, and welcome to an update video. Uh, cause, you know, last time I had a hiatus cause I was, uh, really, well, no, see, that's the thing. Uh, I was supposed to be, you know, I studied for some tests and all that stuff, and I was supposed to, you know, on the next week, be able to release some stuff, and I couldn't. Um, I got really sick, and that prevented me from doing a lot, cause I couldn't use my voice or anything. Uh, some of you might know that from Retro Girls Stream. So what I'm playing here is a game called uh, Spark the Electric Jester. And tomorrow, I want to do a 30-minute impression of the sequel coming out tomorrow. I've had this first game for two years. Never completed it until last week when I found out the second game was coming out. And boy, was I ashamed of myself. This game's incredible. This is what happens when you design your shit right. Um... What that means is essentially, this guy took Sonic, Devil May Cry, Mega Man X, and uh, Kirby, and combined it into one package, and he made it work. You know, you could have all these things, these concepts, but to make it work is another thing, right? It's wall climb. This is what edgy can do, you know, when you're all an edgy ninja and shit, right? Um, let's use this. I always keep this around if I want to get around places, because it's easy to uh, move around and everything. This is for fighting, though. We get even a... KAMEHAMEHA! <laughs> but, uh... Let's go up here. Is there any other hidden stuff around here? There's a lot of, like, forms in this stage that are hidden around that I even know. Um, but yeah, so like Sonic, you have the little exploration platforming kind of thing. You have the speed. Um, and, uh... Wee! <laughs> but yeah, so you have the speed and all that kind of stuff. Similar gameplay, but then you also get that with Kirby. You have the style meter of Del May Cry, which rewards you playing well for uh, with uh, basically being able to use a powerful attack. So if you, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can show that to you. So if I keep attacking guys without getting hit or doing combos on bosses, uh, a, you know, a little blue meter will show at the left, on the t uh, right below my health meter. And if I fill that all the way up without getting hit. I'll be able to really mess up a boss. So let's do that right now, right? Usually it applies to your charge attack. Sometimes it's... Oh, no, I got hit. Sometimes it's automatic activation. Oh, oh, oops. If you dash at the right time, you'll be invincible for some duration. Ah, but that one's a confusing little thing to get by. I'm still trying to figure that one out. So I just stay out of the way. But his timing messes with me, I swear. Actually, I could just fight him from afar if I want. What's weird is this guy reminds me of Mischief Makers. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a full meter. So if I use this now, it becomes a gigantic ass Kamehameha. Really cool, right? You could also wall jump. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I really like this game, and I, I, you know, when I beat it, they really reward you at the end with something special. And like, if you like anime and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, hopefully everyone's seen a certain anime. I'm not going to mention what, because that would be a spoiler. But they, they hit home with something really cool. Um, and it was worth it. Like, I regret not playing this for the last two years. I wish I'd completed it sooner, because now the second game's coming out. I want to play that game for you guys for 30 minutes. Uh, give you my impressions, because what they're doing with that one is they're taking Sonic Adventure and combining it with Del May Cry elements. So it's going to be a hack and slash with that Sonic Adventure kind of gameplay with the speed, the 3D, all that kind of stuff. And being that it's by this guy, I think it's going to be pretty good, because this guy has a lot of quality for his stuff and unlockables. I love unlockables. Um, ow. <laughs> and I like, uh, what was it? They're getting rewarded for skillful gameplay. You know, the better you get at the game, the more you get rewarded. Simple as that, like God Hand. So, let's see, um, let's actually switch over to the other character, because he, here's the thing, here's the catcher. The second game does not star Spark, who I was just playing as and switching through all his forms. The second game stars Fark. He's essentially, uh, the anti-hero, I guess, to this game. Um, and his, uh, his gameplay is pretty cool. Uh, he, I like to say he's kind of like the, uh, the Virgil mode for the game, whereas Spark is Dante and he has a huge arsenal of stuff. This guy has to rely on a limited moveset, which, like, you could enhance your attacks. 
You see, normally it's like that or like that, but you could enhance it, right? Um, but you have to rely on not dodging. Uh, this is just for speeding you up and keeping you moving fast. You have to rely on doing that. A parry. So to avoid damage, I gotta just keep doing them parries. But you see that new meter there? If I fill that up, so right now I could activate a devil trigger. Oh, oh, whoops, I mean I could activate static mode. And that makes me invincible. It makes me super fast and more powerful, right? So I want to use that on bosses. It also restores your HP all the way. So, you know, it's a reward. I mean, it's a risk reward benefit. Uh, you can also fill it up by attacking. But blocking, of course, at the right time will reward you even more. If I fill this up all the way, I'll do this really quickly. This should take about four more times. Maybe three. Oops, three more times. Well, two more times now. Ah, three more times. One. Two. Ah, whoops. Two. Three. So now I'm in super mode. And this really makes my attacks much bigger. <laughs> so now I could let that do all the work on uh, some of the enemies, right? But it's especially good on the bosses, which I'm going to try and face off with right soon. Ah, no, I lost my form. Let's get that back by simply fighting enemies. Oops. This guy also has a double jump. And uh, he also dies easy. So, you know. You want to definitely make sure to block a lot more attacks. I'm just trying to take advantage of the situation. Oh, perfect block. Ah. Sometimes I put myself in harm's way just so I could get into this form. <laughs> because then it's easier to kill enemies. Okay, jump over. He could also climb walls. He doesn't need the edgy form to do that. In fact, he doesn't have any forms. I mean, this is the only one. And this one you get for skillful play. So if you want to kill enemies faster, you got to play well. Of course, after playing through uh, Spark Story, you should be good enough at the game. So the the music turning off means we're pretty close to the boss right now. Uh, however, I don't know why, but I think they accidentally started that too early, probably because of the positioning of the boss. Ugh. Ah, shoot. Ah, that's okay. I have close enough to what I need. So with him, um, you know, at least he floats during his attacks. So I can just dash around. Uh-oh. Haha! -ha, perfect block! Now, that's much harder to do with Spark, believe it or not. Uh, even though pairing might seem really hard here, they're actually lenient. You could do a late block or an early block, etc. Um, but with Spark, the timing is pretty crucial, because you have to use the dash. That's something that Spark can't use, unfortunately. But, jeez, man, look at him move all over the place. Uh, it's really fun, though. Like, it's, uh, he's an unlockable. And now he's the star of the second game, so he's gonna have, you know, this kind of gameplay, but in 3D, with all the blocking and all that kind of stuff. So I'm looking forward to it tomorrow, and uh, it's just the one short thing I can do. Like, I don't want to edit this video, so this is the one short thing I can do tomorrow, similarly, uh, to just kind of um, tell you guys, hey, you know, if you're interested and you like what you saw, you know, definitely support the game. This is eight dollars, and it used to be fifteen. <laughs> it used to be fifteen. Now it's permanently half off, uh, or about half off. But it's worth it. It is so worth it. Um, this game just has a lot of good stuff. Actually, let's just climb it. I don't. I don't need to. I don't need to use no platforms. In fact, actually, what's up this way? Okay, it's just the wall. But hey, at least I can get up here really easily, right? So there, there's just all sorts of fun ways to play this game. I don't think there's anything up here. Oh, there is! <laughs> okay, I just found something new! Jeez, I really love this. They're just... <laughs> this game keeps surprising me with like, oh yeah, j just in case you were explorative and you were low on your health, there's a way to recover. But yeah, uh, Sprightly Electric Jester 1's great, and I'm hoping 2 will be really good tomorrow. I am I mean, I'm not gonna hype myself up too much, you know, never make your standards too high. But expect it tomorrow. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give my 30 minute impression. Just gonna take some time out of the day, and I'm gonna go back studying. I'm gonna go back studying right now. I'm done. Bye, <laughs> and enjoy your day, guys. I, I love you all.